Hi everybody! Welcome to our Monday Facebook Bodabra Live. And if you don't know, I'm Sandy Sandler. I'm the creator of the Bodabra Bowmaker. And today we are going to be celebrating St. Patrick's Day a little early. We're going to make some really fun green gold Irish projects. So we're going to make a hat. We're going to make now I'm going to show you. Let me just get my my live over here. So I'm going to take some of my Bodabra bow wire and um, and hi Crystal. I'm glad you were able to join us live today. So I'm going to take my Bodabra bow wire and fold it in half and put that into my mini Bodabra. Then what I'm going to do is are we good or are we frozen? Um, oh no, we're good. Okay, perfect. I think. So now I'm going to scrunch everything in here and take, this is my, um, just some tool. Oh, you need to know how much I'm using. Whoopsie daisy. So I have, it's a six inch wide tool. I have 29 inches. So, hey, Crystal. I know, isn't this hat fun? We actually have like, I don't know, a very limited number of them that I'll be putting in our store. Um, so you guys can buy them for St. Patrick's Day. And uh, now I'm just gonna scrunch the tool in here and take my wand and just scrunch all that down in there. Then I'm going to take, let's see, 15 inches of I brandy of our Bodabra scrunchy ribbon. And guys, don't forget to say, I want to win, so you'll have an opportunity to win a roll of scrunchy ribbon at the end of our Bodabra live. So scrunch all this down in here. And so do you guys have special, hi Gail, Brandy, Yannette, um, Virgin Islands, oh my gosh, how awesome is that? Scrunch that down. Then I have this two and a half inch wide piece of grow grain already dovetailed and I'm just gonna scrunch that down in the middle here. And I have four inches of it. And then I have my one and a half inch wide ribbon and I've got three inches of this. And I'm just gonna scrunch that down in here. And then I have my little piece of mesh and this is just two and a half inches. Whoops, almost lost it. And I'm gonna just scrunch that. And this could make a really pretty little hair bow. And give everything a good scrunch. Hi, Rhonda Kay and Diane and Yannette. Oh my gosh, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. So now, yes, Gail, I am back home, but Vivi misses her friend May May and Barbie the pig. And oh my gosh, she had so much fun. So I'm just gonna bring this around to the back and tie it off. And our weather's actually been fairly decent here. So do you guys do, like, do you have grand plans for St. Patrick's Day um, or anything that you do? Or are you Irish and just want to dress up green? So now I'm going to just, I remember being in Chicago one year for um, St. Patrick's Day. And they turned the whole Chicago River green. I was like, so cool. So now, and you have this cute little bow and I would just tie it onto a ponytail holder or a um or uh you could even put it on your hat or a headband so now I'm going to take this put it aside and we are going to make a hat bow to put on another hat now for this hat basically all I did was took five rows of our Bodabra rhinestone mesh so I just cut five rows, which gives me three rows left that I can use for another project. So I'm going to just put this over here, I think, and put my hat right here. And then I'm going to take some Bodabra bow wire. Jeannie, thank you. And Edna, thank you so much for joining me. And I'm gonna just lay my wire down into my mini Bodabra. And then I have, this is a two and a half inch wide ribbon. 
and it is six inches. So I have three pieces of this gold and I'm just gonna scrunch this all into my mini bodabra. And so here we go. So I know I've been promising you guys that we would have new ribbon in our bodabra store. And I am so excited to tell you that for sure, for sure, for sure, we're going to get the new ribbon into our store before our Facebook Live next Monday. And so these are all four inches and this is a one and a half inch wide and the others are two and a half inches. This is a one and a half inch wide and I'm telling you how wide it is and not how long it is, by 18 inches long. So I'm just going to make like we make our boutique bow and fold that in half and I'm gonna put the right side down. So there's the right side down. I'm just gonna make a loop here, come back over. So this is the technique you would use to make a boutique bow. Hi Marlene, thanks so much for joining us. And Donna, thank you, you too. And just put that over. Now you can see I have an X. So now we're gonna just put the lower loop in first and then the top loop in. And so now that I have that, I'm just gonna take my um, little jade um, roses. I love these roses because they have like a little rhinestone in the middle. And I'm just gonna take my bow dabber bow wire, pull it through and pull it tight while it's still in the bow dabra. And um, then it's bodabra.com is the store. So I'm gonna go back around to the back. And I promise by next Facebook Live, I will be making a grand announcement and I will show you guys some of the really awesome new ribbons that we have. So I'm just gonna knot this. And now I'm gonna clip it because this is just gonna get glued right onto our hat. Now I'm gonna use a glue dot. Um, and so now I'm just gonna shape out my loops. And with the flowers, I'm just gonna wrap the stems around just to get them out of the way and bring those all the way around here and take my loops and shape out my flowers and take my loops here. And you guys, please, please um, share our um, lives with friends because that way more people can learn about Bodabra and that would be really, really helpful. And if you haven't already followed us on Facebook, if you follow us, then I'm gonna take my, um, I'm using Zots actually, Take my Zots, and I'm gonna take two of them. But you might, if you're gonna be wearing this out, I would probably glue it on just to make sure that everything stays. So I'm just gonna put a glue dot there and shape this out here. Put another one right here, and then bring it right around here, and just put it right on my hat. And isn't that like super, super simple and cute? I just love these hats. I fell in love with them. So I just bought, didn't buy a lot. I only bought about six of them, but I think you guys are really gonna love them and they fit great. So take this hat, put it aside, let's put that up there. And <laughs> hey, Vicki, you should be getting your red pretty soon. So, but you can order all the colors from our website. I think you won last week, didn't you? Um, so now I'm gonna take my wire and we are going to make, I figure that your puppy also needs a St. Patrick's Day bow. So I'm going to take some of my Bow Dabber bow wire and clip it. I've got it folded in half. I'm gonna just put it in my mini and tuck it underneath. And, um, then what I'll, I'm going to do is I've got, um, these are each one and a half inches wide and I have 22 inches. So I'm going to do the same boutique bow technique. I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to put the right side of my ribbon down into my mini bodabra. 
Then I'm gonna fold this back over and I'm gonna make a loop. And again, the right side of the ribbon is gonna go upside down into my mini. Then what I'm gonna do is bring the other ribbon around, the other um, strand around, and again, I'm gonna take the right side of the ribbon and put it upside down into my loop. Then I'm gonna take my bottom loop here and just scrunch that in. And then I'm gonna take my top and scrunch that one in. And then I have this little, um, it's four inches by two and a half inches. And I'm just gonna scrunch that down in there and take my mini wand and scrunch everything down into my bodabra. And now I'm going to take the ends, bring it through, pull it tight while it's still in the mini, separate the ends, bring it around to the back, and I'm gonna tie a knot, and I'm actually gonna just double knot this. And then I have this really pretty little um, gold button, and I'm going to glue it, but obviously for time's sake right now, I'm just gonna use a glue dot. So I'm gonna put the glue dot on the back of the button, and then put that right in the center of my bow. And I don't need this end here, so I'm just gonna clip that excess off. And now I'm just gonna shape my bow. And this is a wired ribbon, so it's super simple to shake, shape. <laughs> and then all I'm gonna do is just tie this onto the dog collar and I find it's better to tie for me anyway with Vivi I always tie them onto her collar because um, then she doesn't scratch them out of her hair and she doesn't seem to mind wearing the bows as much um, when they're on her collar versus um, in her hair and so now you have this, oops, I didn't, I didn't knot it on. So now you have this really, really cute little um, puppy bow. And so now your puppy can be Irish right along with you. So isn't that cool? So Sandra, thank you for sharing. Michelle, thank you for sharing. Um, my husband said he had to, st I had to stop making until he makes something to hang them on. Oh my gosh, Edna, that is so funny. But I get it. And it was like so hilarious because when I was with Garrett and um, Jojo last week, we were making so many bows. And jo um, Garrett ended up making them, she plays on three softball teams. And she ended up making them for two, two of her teams. And I wouldn't be surprised if this week she starts making them for all her other team members. So I thought that was really cool. So now we're gonna make um, a really pretty bow that could be a great decor. I think this would look really pretty on a wreath. And so now, hey Christy, how are you? Christy is my friend who has um, the website Our Green Space. And she's got some really cool designs there. I'm gonna fold this in half, lay it down into my bodabra, tuck the ends underneath. So now I have, now this ribbon is beautiful, but oh my gosh, you just have to like touch it. So I've got two yards here and this ribbon is, oh my gosh, I'm so covered in glitter just from measuring this. So it's 14 inches wide and we're just going to make a scrunchy bow using this. And Oh boy, okay. And I believe that I'm actually gonna see Christy in a couple weeks when I go teach a class that I teach for content creation in Dallas. So I'm totally looking forward to that. So now I'm just gonna scrunch this down and let's just go. So, oh my gosh. Okay, so now let me take my wand and I'm just gonna give everything a really, really good scrunch. And I'm gonna sort of just shape it out 
right now while it's still in my Bodabra. And then you can see, look guys, isn't this hilarious? So this is already all gold from just sitting with the ribbon. So now I have, let's see, 13 and a half inches, and this is a two and a half, two inch wide grow grain. So I'm just gonna scrunch that, right? Fold it in half, find the center, and just lay that down in there. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with this peach, which is exactly the same size. And then I have, um, let's see, probably, I'm assuming this is a, about two yards, one yard. No, I was wrong, two yards and two and a half yards. So now I'm just gonna make a bunch of loops. So we're just gonna fold this back and forth. And this could be really pretty also um, as a centerpiece, or you could make a lot of these and put them on a charger um, for a really pretty St. Patrick's Day party. And back here. And I believe today is Independent Women's Day. So I guess I should tell everybody Happy Independent Women's Day. And also it's March, so it's National Craft Month. So any of your crafting friends, please share these videos with them. And so now, um, oh, my wand. I'm gonna scrunch everything down. And then I'm going to take our really pretty um, lights that we do have in our store. And again, everything will be up by the live next week. And I'm going to just pull this through, pull it tight while it's still in my Bodabra. I'm going to pull it out, separate the ends, bring it around to the back. And I love these lights because the little battery pack is really lightweight. Um, and so it won't weigh it down if you're putting it on a wreath or something. And just to be totally careful, let's triple knot that. And then I'm gonna just separate my loops. And then what I'm gonna do is take my lights and just kind of weave them in through the loops and oh hi Edna so you're from the eastern shore of Maryland um I know that Michael our designer I'm not sure where in Maryland he's from but I know he lives somewhere near the shore and then and Gail I don't know where she lives in Maryland I know she's in Maryland but I'm not sure exactly where and isn't that just super duper simple um, I know the wide ribbon would make gorgeous pubos. We're doing pubos in two weeks. We're doing wedding. So that should be really fun. But isn't that great? So make sure if you guys have anybody that might be um, having a wedding soon, let them know um, to tune in in two weeks for our bow dabber because we're going to do some really cool stuff. So now I'm going to put this one away. Jeannie, thank you. Gail, thank you. I know I love the lights too. Rhonda, thank you. Michelle, thank you. I'm finally so excited. We actually have our internet working to where everything seems, knock on wood, to be working the way we want it to. So now I'm gonna set this one aside. And oh my gosh, you can just see, I'm so, everything is so covered. So now we're just gonna make this really pretty one that could, I think this would be real pretty for like a uh, um, St. Patrick's Day wreath, or again, as a table decor. So, um, and I have a little, um, there we go. Let's just fix that there. Okay, perfect. So now we have this beautiful mesh wired ribbon. I believe it's, yes, it's four inches wide. And I have a yard. And then I have a yard and 18 inches. So let me take my Bodarpa wire. Thank you, Edna, and Michelle, and um, Brandy, we are going to be carrying the wide rabbit in our store. Um, so definitely look for it. Right now, the widest we have is five inches. But um, like this ribbon here, I couldn't get it in the gold, but I have it in a beautiful, beautiful 
um, sort of like a, a sky blue color. And this is such an awesome ribbon. It's like really glittery. And oh, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna fold this in half and we're gonna make our boutique style bow. So again, I'm gonna take the right side, put it upside down. And then I'm gonna come back around and scrunch this in and just kind of center that. Um, and then I'm gonna take this around here and we're making an X. And then I'm gonna just take again the right side of the ribbon and put it down into my bodabra. Then what I'm gonna do is take the center of my bottom one and scrunch that in. And then take the center here and scrunch that down in. And now you have that really cool little um, boutique bow. And then here I have a six inch wide tool and I've got, let's see, one yard and a half. And so now I'm gonna do a scrunchy bow and just scrunch this down in here. Brandy, thank you. Yannette, thank you. I know the gold is so rich. It's really beautiful, beautiful in the blue as well. So, um, and if you guys ever see ribbon that you like, that you think you'd like me to carry or wedding ribbon, please let me know and I'll search it, I'll look into it. So now I'm just going to hold that down. But we really are looking at growing our ribbon selection. So I'm very excited about that. And these are just like a little foam rose, but they look like soap. I thought they were so cool. Um, unfortunately, I can't ever get them again, but we have some for projects. So now I'm gonna put this through here, pull it through my slip knot, hold everything really tight while it's still in my bodabra, pull it tight, bring it out. I'm gonna separate the ends, bring it around to the back, and I'm gonna just get my bodabra out of the way and tie a knot here and double knot it. And now I can just shape it. And this wired ribbon is just so pretty. This gold. And there you have it. Isn't that pretty? And you guys are gonna love this ribbon. Now again, I don't know if I can get it in the gold, but I definitely have it in the beautiful blue. So I'm gonna put this aside and now I'm gonna make just a very basic um, hair bow. Oh my gosh, so covered in glitter. So I'm gonna grab my mini and um, I have, this is my, let's see, this is 20 inches by two inches. And this is the same length. And so now what I would do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna fold it in half. And I'm gonna put the right side of my ribbon down. No, I'm not, I'm, I messed up by making a boutique bow and I don't wanna make a boutique bow. So I'm just gonna center my um, mesh here and put the right side of the ribbon down into my bow dabra. Then I'm gonna bring this and just bring this all the way around. And now I'm gonna just put this down into my bodabra. And then I'm just going to make sure that all of this is even and scrunch that down. And then I have these two little pieces. This is my um, one and a half inch wide by four and a half inches, and I'm just gonna scrunch that in. And then this piece is two inches and by two and a, two, I'm sorry, two inches by three inches. And we're just gonna make a little scrunchie right down into here. And then, Crystal, thank you. Oh, Sandra, that's, oh my gosh, you guys. No wire. So we're gonna have to start all over again. At least you already have a measurement 
but I'm gonna make this one so if you didn't catch what I did, do it all over, but it's so simple. So take my wire, scrunch my wire in, then I'm gonna take my, um, my ribbon and center it. And now I'm going to take this end here and just, again, the right side is gonna go down, scrunch that down. Now, any of you guys that have the Bodabra, I know it's happened to you guys where you forget to put the wire in and then you're already at the end. Now, if it were a really big bow, I could totally feed my wire through, but this is so simple to make that I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna bother. I could just remake it really quick. So now I'll just take this, this in here and scrunch my gold. Take my one and scrunch it. I know, Edna. <laughs> and yeah, is that JJ Flores? Yes, I know. Every once in a while it happens. But the cool thing is it's not so difficult and you can just start right over again, which I have done countless times. So take that around. And I have a ponytail holder right here that I can just tie this on and we'll just tie it knot and we'll just knot that on and clip the ends. And now you have a really cute ponytail bow. So simple. <laughs> Vicky, that's smart. Write it where you can take a sharpie, write it right on the bow dabber, right? Don't forget the bow wire. That's a really good idea. I like that tip. Um, okay. Yes, I know. I remember Crystal. And so now I'm going to put this one aside and we're going to make one more little headband. Um, let's see what else we have here. So I'm going to grab this and. The winner was announced. Oh, who's the winner? Donna um, Chappelle. Donna Chappelle. Donna, congratulations. That's awesome. So now I'm going to just take my big Bodabra. Now I've already cheated on this one. So this ribbon is one and a half inches wide and 13 inches long. And I've already taken just a few rows of our, um, our Bodabra rhinestone ribbon and just laid that um, on here. So I'm going to fold it in half. Then I'm just going to scrunch this. Actually, nope, not yet. First, I'm going to take my, um, my, take my, um, tool, which is six inches wide and, uh, 66 inches long. And, oh, don't forget my, I almost forgot my wire again, guys. It's not very good. So does anybody have any special? I know next week we'll be talking again before th before St. Patrick's Day. But the reason I want to do these early when I'm doing the St. Patrick's Day ones is because that way, I don't know if you guys know, but every, um, every week we repost the blog post at bodabrablog.com. And again, on bodabrablog.com, we have some amazing designers. Some of us are, of them are with us right now. I have Crystal watching and Gail, um, and so you guys should definitely go to bodabrablog.com because every week we have like three or four new designs and we also have brand new, um, we take our, our live and we post it as a blog post, usually on Sunday. So now I'm gonna fold this in half and just lay this down into my bodabra. And then I'm gonna take, this one is 12 inches. So I'm just gonna take this and put the right side down, bring it back around. And then now just go to the center and center it. And then I cut my um, scrunchy ribbon in half. So now I just have a long strip. So I cut it so it's about two and a half inches and eight inches long. And so now I'm just going to scrunch this down and then I have um, this little piece here that I'm just going to lay into my faux dabra 
and take my wand and just give everything a really good turn. Bring my wire, pull it through the slip knot, and, and I'm going to just separate the ends, bring it around to the back, and round the K, thank you. And then, um, Don, I'm glad you're happy. And Terry will tell you what you need to do. And then we will get that mailed out to you probably tomorrow. I'm pretty good at getting them out as long as I'm in town. So um, just knot it. And then take my headband. And I'm just going to bring it around the headband like this. Do you want to show from top? Yeah. And, um, and then just tie it and double knot it and then just clip it without clipping the headband and you have a really cute little St. Patrick's Day headband or really any time of the year headband for a little girl. So you guys once again Thank you so much for watching. Next week, we're going to do some really fun. We're going to focus entirely on hair bows. This is going to be really fun. And then the following week is going to be super, super wedding. So please share and let me know if you watched the replay. And hopefully you'll join us live because you'll win if you're watching on the live. There's an opportunity, but not on the replays. So we'll see you guys next week. Bye.